Well, greetings once again to my shop. I've been unpacking all morning from my California trip. We got home late last night. It was 12.30 in the morning. We drove from Billings, Montana, back home to Orland. Anyway, it's nice to be here, and I think Coco is glad to have me back in the shop. I'm going to do a couple videos. One is going to be on metal reactive paint, and the other one is going to be on metal leaves. My first video is going to be on metal reactive paint, and I'm going to go through the steps very simply to kind of lay that out for you. I'm going to give you a close-up of some of the items right here that I've done with metal reactive paint. Are you ready to go? Okay. Now the first piece I'm showing you is one of my burial urns, my hollow form with a black wood finial that's threaded into the base. And I typically use my metal reactive paint for something like this. I'm using the Verde paint from 10 Seconds Studio and I'll put a link up in the description to this. Okay, I'm going to show you the top of the urn and that view. A lot of the paint I've got on here is the iron, right in this area. The other three colors of metal come out a little blue, and you can kind of experiment with that. Let me show you another piece I've done. This is one of the pieces I had at the Silicon Valley uh, Wood Turning Club, and I also had the West Bay Turners at that demonstration. And in the corners, I've got that metal reactive paint. And I've also got a little bit on the edges. Let me show you one more piece. And we'll go do a little bit of this uh, technique. This is a sphere, obviously. And it's on a stand. I've used a couple different colors. And you can use one, two, three of those metal colors. I just made a little stand right here for that sphere. Now let's go over on the lathe and do a little bit of uh, painting with metal reactive paint. Okay, we are at my Powermatic. I've got a piece of uh, maple chucked up into my lathe and I've got it sanded with a drill, power sanding, to uh, 320 or 400 grit. It's, it's fairly smooth. Now we are painting. Okay, we've all painted, and you simply need to paint this on with a brush, and that's about as difficult as it gets. Now, there are three or four steps to this process, and I will take you through this, the process step by step. And the first one is just to prepare the wood, which I've already done. Now, let me readjust my camera, and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, now as I mentioned, the very first step is to prepare the surface. Now this is just a sample. This is an example of how you can do this. This is a piece of hard maple. I showed you in the introduction a couple pieces. A nice burial urn was one of them. And you can put it on a bowl, you can put it on a, on a plate, a platter. Usually these are decorative and you probably wouldn't want to eat from a bowl with this paint on there. So, first step, prepare the wood. Now, I'm going to eliminate one of the steps that I sometimes use, and that is sealing the wood. I don't know if it's necessary. It probably isn't necessary. Now, we can use copper, iron, bronze, or rust. Those are the four choices you have with uh, the Verde paint from 10 Seconds Studio. And I'm gonna apply a base coat of iron. So, first step, prepare the wood. Second step, I'm going to completely cover this surface with one of these metal colors. Shake it up a little bit. I did a little bit of this demonstration at the Silicone Wood Turners uh, Club. Had a really good time. And I just need to kind of follow up on that. And I think I'm going to put this up here, oh, well, partly as a reference. If somebody has a question, I can simply direct them to 
this particular video. Now what I have here is a very cheap brush here. I'm not even sure what that is. Pure bristle brush made in China. I get these from Woodworker Supply and I get them by box full, like 50 in a box. So I'm not real concerned about a smooth surface because eventually we're going to get a little bit of texture on this. I'll put this on here. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this uh, coat dry. And then I'm going to put another coat on it. As you can see, I'm not really getting a very uh, complete coat. So I'll let that dry. I'll put another coat on, perhaps go the other direction. Okay, this has taken maybe 20 minutes and I probably put three coats of paint on this. I want to have that coverage pretty complete. Now, I'm going to go take my brush and wash it out because I can reuse it. This second step, this base coat, must be completely dry before we can proceed. And usually it takes two or three hours. So we'll wait, make sure that's nice and dry, and we'll return for step three. All right, now we are all ready for step number three, and that involves applying one or two coats of another color, and I'm gonna use brass and bronze for this next stage. So you apply another coat of paint, and while it's still wet, you spray it with the magic solution. I don't know if it's magic, but it really is cool. So let me readjust my camera. Uh, I've got this piece, it's nice and dry, and I'm gonna use my airbrush to kind of create a, uh, I don't know, maybe a funky appearance for this. You can do whatever you want, and it is so much fun. So let me continue. Okay, now I have these two containers labeled. I have just a little bit of the paint in the bottom of these plastic cups. I've got two new brushes. I'll use one for each color. I need to apply this, and when it's still wet, I need to spray it. If you wait too long, it won't work. It won't react. So let's put on the bronze, or a little bit of the bronze. We can do this. Uh, however we want. And I've got an idea right there. And on the other side of that I'm going to put the brass. And I can go back and kind of play around with this a little bit. I'm going to take my air compressor air hose and I'm going to just kind of play around with this a little bit. I'm kind of going across the two and I'll see if I can get those to blend a little bit. Whoop, there we go. All right, now, while that is still wet, I'm going to spray that. I think that is sufficiently covered with the spray solution. And that's the uh, important ingredient in that. So I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to let that dry and we'll see how it looks. And this is going to take an hour or so. Well, I'm very happy with the outcome of my metal reactive paint demonstration. Um, keep in mind, this is just a sample. This is just on a flat piece of wood. 
and you can put this on just about anything you want. All right. I showed you some examples at the beginning of this video. So thank you very much for tuning in. And so get yourself some metal reactive paint. There's a lot of suppliers out there. I think you can get that from craft supplies and, and other sources. So thank you very much for tuning in. And thanks to the Bay Area Wood Turners Association, the Silicon Valley Wood Turners and the West Bay Wood Turners. I had a great time in California, and maybe someday I can come back and visit you guys and ladies. Thank you very much.